Hi, my name is Dallas Glass. I'm an avalanche forecaster and a member of the area instructor trainer team. You need three ingredients to have an avalanche. Unstable snow, a trigger, and avalanche terrain. Removing any one of these ingredients eliminates the possibility of an avalanche. We can't influence the stability of the snow. And if we're in the mountains, we can assume we can always be a trigger. So choosing where we go is our primary tool for managing avalanche risk. If you're not in avalanche terrain, then you eliminate your risk of being involved in an avalanche. This means we need to be able to answer the question, am I an avalanche terrain? Avalanche terrain is anywhere an avalanche can start, run, and stop. Two characteristics help answer the question if I'm an avalanche terrain, slope angle and vegetative clues. Slope angle is the primary factor in determining where avalanches start. Most slab avalanches occur on slopes between 30 and 45 degrees. Measuring the angle of a slope gives you the clearest indication if you're an avalanche terrain. When considering slope angle, assess not just the slope that you are or intend to be on, but also slopes above you. Pay attention to the steepest part of the slope, even when the average slope angle could be considerably lower. You can also use slope angle shading on mapping software or your GPS to get a general idea of the slope steepness. But be aware, maps often underestimate slope angle and lack the resolution to show specific steep terrain features. Don't miss the obvious signs that this is a place where avalanches run and will run again. Trees, or more accurately, the lack thereof, can give you some obvious clues where avalanches travel regularly. You can often clearly see avalanche paths in thick forest. Clearings with few or very small trees surrounded by mature trees give an indication of where avalanches can run. Other clues include broken trees at the same height and flag trees where all the uphill branches have been stripped off by avalanche debris. It's also critical to assess whether the terrain surrounding you will increase the consequences if an avalanche occurs. Any feature, such as rocks, trees, cliffs, gullies, or flat areas can increase the consequences of an avalanche. These are known as terrain traps. Flat areas like roads or depressions such as creeks or gullies can pile avalanche debris up deeply. Getting pushed over cliffs or into trees can greatly increase your chance of death from injury, even if your backcountry partners can extract you from them quickly. Answering the question, am I an avalanche terrain, takes time and experience. Avalanche train is anywhere an avalanche can start, run, and stop. Slope angle and vegetative clues help us identify avalanche train, and terrain traps help us understand potential consequences. These clues can be both easy and very difficult to recognize. It's important to train our eyes to look beyond the obvious avalanche paths and distinguish even subtle clues of slope angle and forest density of avalanche train that may catch us off guard. 